You're not gonna believe it. I have found it. Oh my god. She ain't pretty no more. G'day everyone and welcome back for part 8 of this Cape York adventure. We start this one off at the old Maytown ruins. After catching up on some of the history in the area, it was time to set our sights on Mariba. This would be the largest town we had been in since we left Cairns. The plan was to have a late lunch at Mariba, stock up on some supplies and then make camp somewhere further west for the night. But as you'll see shortly, things don't always go to plan. This is Palmer River Crossing. Beautiful. We've obviously got it at uh, very low water. I'm sure it gets up a bit deeper than that, especially through the wet. For us, no issues. We need to stop and wait. Dust is just hanging around today. Come on Lance, get going boy. There's no wind, no breeze to speak of so the dust is just hanging there for me to eat. So I think out to the main road it's going to be pretty much like this. Smooth maintained track which is a welcome change. The old coach road guys, she's a cracker. But, uh, yeah, so you guys out the main road you see where we head from there. Just come over the mountain here on uh, White's Creek Road. Beautiful little lake. Just out of nowhere, it's been so bone dry for so long, and then this to pop up looks very inviting. But uh, who knows, maybe there's crocs in there. But this Watts Creek Road is um, ball of fun, I've been flying along it. The bloody hoon! <laughs> That is some sort of highway, I believe, which I haven't seen in a while. That was so much fun along that White's Creek Road. I was um, smashing along there. That was some good fun. I wait here for Lance to um, pull in, which I can hear him now, and uh, we'll make up our mind of if we're going to do this other track we've got down a bit further south to pop out at uh, Dimboola, or if we're going to just blacktop it to Mariba, get some supplies, and have some late lunch. Uh, I should have took it off, but my Insta360 I had up on the handlebars has gone and I didn't even notice. I just looked at uh, the last photo I took of the bike back at this lagoon, which was 20 k's back. I don't think it's on there in the photo, so it's got to be further under there. I did take another photo about 50 k back. Um, on there so who knows where it is or how far so after realizing i'd lost my insta 360 i was devastated i knew it was going to be near impossible to find it along an almost 50 kilometer stretch of dirt road but i had to at least try i began to backtrack while lance continued on to mariba where we planned to meet again later in the day so i just had a quick look back at some of the footage and there is obviously a clip where it's there still and then the next one it's not the first one where it's not is uh, I recorded myself going through a creek crossing and then I overtook Lance. Uh, it was gone then and the one before that was just me riding through the twisty stuff and it was there. So it's obviously just come off uh, not long before I caught up to Lance. Um, well, obviously I don't know where exactly that was but I'll, I'll try to put a image in my mind of what that crossing just looked like so I know once I get to that water crossing I know that it was gone by then. I don't have to worry about looking at all this stretch anyway. 
And then the next issue I'll have would be fuel. I've got to keep an eye on how far back I go. So pretty certain this is the one that I've seen on the footage where I overtook Lance just after it and the camera was already missing there. I'll double check while I'm here uh, on the footage and compare, but pretty sure that's it. So then from here on, I'll be uh, searching for this camera on the road somewhere for a while. Well guys, I'm turning around. Just sent Lance a message on my Garmin, tell him I've, um, you know, I'm heading back out at least. Haven't found it. Pretty gutted. Obviously I've got to go back out again, so it gives me a second chance to look over this road on my way out. But yeah, I'm kind of losing hope here of finding it. Probably won't film anything until I uh, either get to Mariba, where Lance is, or if I run out of fuel, one of the two, because I'm not too sure I've got... Wow, this thing's saying 200 kilometers now. That's not right. Surely. <laughs> I haven't come back in that far. Oh, that's not good. If that is uh, correct, oh, I won't make that. I've already done 213. <sighs> Another issue now. I've got enough fuel to get out to the main road. I have to send Lance a message again. He's got a fuel bladder, but I don't really want to make him ride back out to, to rescue me after I've stuffed this up already. So keep me posted, guys. See if I find this camera or if I um, yeah, make it to the road, run out of fuel, make it to Mariba. I don't know. I'll talk to you soon. Guys, you're not going to believe it. I have found it. Oh, I just came down there and there's a big bump and I remember smashing into it on the way down the hill and look what I found Oh my god, she ain't pretty no more, but I found it. Oh I've destroyed it man Far out the mount that it's on that hasn't broken It was just that bit that cracked and it's come out whether or not that is a uh, repairable. I don't know Will it turn on? Oh my god, it turns on and the screen comes on Oh my god, that is ridiculous. Well, I guess uh, that can be an advert for Insta360. Come flying off over there. I'll show you this little bump. I'm recording right now on this thing too to see how the footage actually comes through on this camera. But for the minute, it's working. This little bump here must have been what done it. I got the front up and the back hit this really hard. That's where I've hit it there. And then all the way up there is where... It landed, that's like 40 meters, so it's clipping along, but man, I found it. That is a relief. I've got my footage back and my camera back. Yeah, I've done some damage. Still got a little bit to go to get out of here to the main road, and then I've got to hope that I have some phone reception and we'll try and use the Garmin and suss out where to get some fuel. I made it back to the main road of the Mulligans Highway, but now after backtracking so far, my fuel range was my next issue. I knew there was fuel at Mount Malloy, but this was 100 kilometers away. With no phone reception and no fuel stations showing on my Garmin, I set off hoping that this little bike just kept on going. So she's just ran out. I've hit reserve. I'm gonna lay it down. Hopefully that gets everything I have over to this side. I'm only at 3.33. What happened? So it's my lucky day. Well, unlucky but lucky. So there is fuel here. But being a Friday, I'm assuming, or maybe it's every day, but they're already closed. But these guys are still sitting out the front. He's going to be an absolute legend. And let me, let me uh, fill up here. Thankfully, otherwise, I don't think my reserve would get me to Mount Malloy. Another 30 k's. Oh, massive shout out to Bruce there at the Mount Carbine Roadhouse. Without him right now, I would have been uh, up Shit Creek, I guess. I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have had enough fuel to get to Mount Molly. I would have had to stay in there. We'll sort something else out. But um, it's a Friday afternoon at 4:30. They were shut, but I walked in there anyway just to ask the question. Luckily enough, he's still there let me in oh absolute legend thank you bruce now it's got another about an hour to mariba where lance has already sorted us out a campsite in the caravan park so we ought to go there and 
Get a good feed somewhere and have a shower. Woo! Let's go, baby! Yeah, everybody, day number, what day are we at? Day nine, leaving Mariba, heading west for a little bit, out through Dimbula, I think it's called, and a little bit further west again, before we sort of start going south from there. So we'll be on some, uh, what we think will be sort of outback tracks, keep away from the freeways and all that type of stuff. But for now, we'll have you a whole lot to film. Head west out through Jindula and uh, see you guys out that way. Had to stop for a leak, roadside leak. Wanted to beat the car back out, but I didn't. Just got by me. Go around him again. Didn't really do research on this little stretch back down south before we came. We kind of just, well, I kind of just looked at it and went, yep, that'll do. But we're following it on the train line here, so I don't know if this is actually, uh, this line is the, uh, Savannah Way line. I'm gonna have to look when I get home and see, but uh, pretty cool to find out. We sort of just following this train line along, zigzagging through. She's a long one. Beautiful ride so far on this Savannah Way. Unreal. Had to stop to get a quick photo. This is such a nice ride through here. Thought it'd be uh, a bit boring on the main tracks, but so smooth, fast flowing. It's like I've got one sort of mountain range over that on my left there. We're following along with, and there's another one on the right here. And we're kind of just in the middle in this bushy uh, area covered in shrubs and trees and there's actually heaps of cattle in around here. I've seen a whole bunch of them in their own little groups but like groups of 50 just scattered around everywhere so plenty of cattle about. Still got a bit to go on this and we uh, hop out on uh, Blacktop just near Mount Surprise somewhere straight to Mount Surprise, we're heading to the crater. I can't remember the, the name of it, but we'll head there and check that out before we head back to Mount Surprise for some fuel. Whoa! Did we all just see that? He's going to turn around. A snake on the road. Taking off. I don't even know what it is. I don't know, know my snakes that well, but he's quick, he's gone. All I know is most of them out here are dangerous. <laughs> Do 
Josh and I um, are doing our second hike for the ride. We've done the um, most northern point hike yet to the sign, and now we're doing a 600 meter one way hike to Kalkani Kater Rim. Kater. <laughs> Josh and I are doing our second hike for the. Why, why is he filming me? Filming. Can you see this guy over here filming me? Filming him? <laughs> that is crazy. I hope you guys listen to that. I'm not saying it all again. <laughs> We're walking to the top of a crater in motor boots. I can't even talk, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so we're up on the rim of this crater now. It's actually not that impressive once you're up here full of trees. You can't really see a whole lot, but I'm catching my breath back. It's a decent view the other way. We'll just enjoy this for a little bit and then have to make our way back down, won't we mate? Yeah. At least the way down will be a little bit easier. Enough of that hot, sweaty walking business. Got 50 k's back to Mount Surprise for some late lunch and some fuel. See you guys there. So, just got here to Mount Surprise. The roadhouse is shut. It's a Saturday, 1.30. Let's see what else is up here. The sign up here says fuel. Hopefully they're open. I don't know. It doesn't say no fuel on this side. I'll have to go ask. So a nice lady there said, yeah, here we go, there's another one just here up the road. She said these guys have fuel. Apparently the, uh, the fuel trucks from Townsville haven't been coming here quick enough to keep them stocked up. Oh, man, I, was freaking out. I didn't think we'd get any then. So I've got our fuel from the caravan park there. We've uh, had a chat, loaded up some maps. 152 k's gets us down to the Lind Oasis Roadhouse, uh, which, looking online, looks like a bit of a crap spot to stay the night. So on our way down there, we run through uh, a town called, I can't exactly remember now, Annesley or something like that, something Lee. It's part of the Savannah Way again. We're pretty much just following it whole way down here so uh, we'll pop out there and we'll check it out it looks like there might be some good spots to camp being on the Savannah Way it seems to be some uh, caravan parks and free camps and all that kind of stuff so we'll get to there if it's any good we might set up camp if not we'll push on but uh, see you guys further down the track crossing beautiful plenty of water out here it's an easy one I can see the bottom it's just concrete just thought I'd stop and enjoy it for a second this kind of came out of nowhere yeah so dry and then this Gorge on the map up here. There was a picture on a, on a sign at the start of this track. It looked very nice. So we'll see if the pictures live up to what it actually is. Such nice landscape around here, isn't it? Oh, it's phenomenal. I love this sort of stuff. Yeah. Gorge, I gather. Yeah.
Well, good afternoon, everybody. Here in Ainsley, had a chat to the lady that owns this property where we're camping on, and she said everyone gets it wrong all the time with the pronunciation, so it's Ainsley, not whatever I was trying to say earlier. Beautiful little spot here. Uh, we've got the pub over the road. Gorge is just over there, which we checked out earlier. Facilities and everything here for 10 bucks each per night, so can't really argue with that. Perfect spot to uh, end the day and relax. I'm gonna go to the pub shortly and have a few drinks. Celebrate, uh, I guess the trip's sort of, you know, we're sort of on the way home, but plenty more to come. Still got another five days. We did think we might get a little bit further today, so tomorrow's probably going to be a bigger day in the way of kilometers, um, just to catch up a little bit. And obviously the day before with me having to backtrack, put us back a little bit as well tomorrow might be a little bit more of a big day but i'm up for it we'll relax tonight have a good feed and we'll be ready to go tomorrow but yeah really hope you guys enjoyed that one i certainly did cannot wait to get back on the bike tomorrow morning and get into it again if the roads on the way out of here are just as good as the ones coming in it's going to be an awesome start to the morning like and subscribe as always guys thanks so much for watching ride safe see you in the next one thanks again guys be sure to tune in to next week's episode where the unthinkable happens and both man and machine are put to the test i'll see you all then